What's happening YouTube family, Mikhail here. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about this little beast. This beautiful beast here, the Fujifilm X-T3. And I wanna tell you guys the reasons why I love this camera. Okay guys, so the Fuji X-T3 came out at some point late last year and I've been shooting with it for some time now. Now, let me tell you some of the things that I've heard <laughs> from other photographers that are actually really, really funny. I am a wedding photographer by trade. For trade? Of trade? I'm a wedding photographer, you guys. I'm a wedding photographer, not an English major. Anyways, I'm a wedding photographer by trade and I love using that camera to document weddings. And you may be wondering, but wait, isn't the Fuji X-T3 a APS-C sensor camera? Well, you're not wrong, it is. It is an APS-C sensor camera, it's not a full frame. Which, up until a couple of years ago, I was hung up on the idea that I needed a full frame camera to be able to achieve amazing photographs. And let me tell you something, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Ever since I've been using the X-T3, I found it easier to focus on low light and I've been able to get sharper images and I've been able to also not waste photographs by shooting when the lighting scenario changed and I forgot to change my shutter speed or adjust my aperture. I was able to simply look in the viewfinder and adjust everything on real time. So that's reason number one why I love the X-T3. It allows me to make changes in real time and see what the ultimate result and the final image will look like in real time. Reason number two. The Fujifilm X-T3 comes in at a cool $1,400. In comparison, the Sony a7 III comes in at $1,900 or $2,000? $2,000? I can't really recall. But if you think about it, the big features about that the, that the Sony a7 III had are nothing compared to the stuff that the Fujifilm X-T3 has. The only big factor that Sony has going for them is the size of their sensors. They are a full frame camera, or Fuji is not. But then don't let that fool you. Fujifilm X-T3 has features like 11 frames per second and mechanic shutter, actual silent shutter, live updates on the electronic viewfinder i believe it's 60 uh i believe it's 4k at 60 frames per second 120 frames per second film at 1080p and that's just to mention a few in contrast if you wanted to get the canon equivalent to be able to get 120 frames per second you would be looking at a six thousand dollar camera reason number three the Fujifilm X-T3 is the best all-around camera there is. You can switch it from photos to video and have a beast, have a machine, have a workhorse that actually deliver results that are not only usable, but are excellent. The focus system on the X-T3 far surpasses the Sony a7 III. It is definitely not as good as the Canon, but it's getting there. You guys, the low light ability to focus is incredible. The eye tracking and face tracking, incredible. If there's one thing that I wish the X-T3 had that it doesn't have, it's maybe a flip screen, an articulated screen that actually flips forward. Because right now, the screen the X-T3 has only flips to the side. I don't know if you can see it there. And it's kind of annoying, honestly. But it does flip to the bottom, and it does flip down, and it flips up. So, I guess they have that going for them. Nevertheless, the Fujifilm X-T3 is an excellent all-around camera for any photographer out there. Every time someone asks me what camera they should purchase as their first camera, I, without missing a beat, recommend the Fujifilm X-T3. It simply can be beat. Now, this is just the perspective of a guy that used to shoot on Canon. And don't get me wrong, I still shoot my vlogs on Canon. I love my Canon cameras, I love the articulated screen. But if Fujifilm came out with a camera that had an articulated screen where I'm actually able to see myself and make sure that I'm in frame, you can bet 
your top dollar that I'll be switching my vlog and camera to the Fujifilm system as well. If you still have any doubts that the size of the sensor may hinder your ability to photograph uh, portraits, weddings, events, whatever you're out there photographing, I promise you, it's not a problem. As I mentioned before, I work with Stylin' Story. We are a photography collective in Columbus, Ohio. And as I said before, we are the best in the state. If you don't believe me, go look at the portfolio. I'm just kidding. I keep, I keep shamelessly plugging our studio. There are tremendously talented photographers in Ohio, and I can confidently say that we're one of the best studios in Ohio. All of us shoot in the Fujifilm 6 system. We've shot with the Fujifilm X-T2 last year, and now we're shooting with the Fujifilm X-T3. Go check our portfolio. I'm gonna link it below. If you have any doubts that you can actually use this camera to photograph and absolutely kill a wedding, don't hesitate to reach out to me, Stephen Lowe, Ben Adams, or Ben Harley. Also, I'm gonna link Ben Harley's, ben Harley's channel at the end of this yeah. video. That dude is dope. You should check out his content. Ah, this was pretty a uh, pretty mellow video, you guys. I guess I leave you with that. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, ring that notification bell so you're notified when my next video goes up. Until then, Mikhail out.